Now, as always, whoever called the show actually made the phone call, has the job of playing fastest finger first while their partners wait nervously in the audience, wondering what the merry hell they've got themselves into. Whoever gets the right answer and the fastest time is first with their partner to play for a possible million pounds. Audience, as quiet as a marriage counsellor's office, please. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these politicians in the order they became Chancellor of the Exchequer. So four chancellors coming up. We want the one farthest back in time coming towards the present day. Here they are. Gordon Brown, Kenneth Clark, Geoffrey Howe, Roy Jenkins. Several of them there, very quick. Let's see if they were right there. This is the right order. We want the earliest one first. Uh, farthest back in time, Roy Jenkins. Roy Jenkins, of course, uh, 1967. Then it was Geoffrey Howe, 79. Then Ken Clark in 93. And then most recently, Gordon Brown, 1997. That's the right order. Now, these got it right. Who was fastest? Uh, David and Victoria in 6.32 seconds. Well done, David. Which one's Victoria? Victoria's all right there. Um, a bit the one is going very, very red, looking That's really embarrassed. OK, good luck. Want to play for a million pounds or two of you? Definitely. OK, That's it. Here we go then, our next couple. This is David Anderson and Victoria Beth from Sittingbourne. David's looking for work at the moment and Victoria's a quality assistant. They have, as always, those three lifelines. They have 50-50, they have phone a friend and they can ask this fine audience. Now, remember, on couple shows, I can't accept a final answer until they both agree on it, however long that may take. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK, question number one for £100. Someone in happy high spirits is said to be full of what? Beans, beads, beets, bears. Beans. Is the right answer? You've got £100. <laughs> That's rather good, that. You're in unison there, you two. See if you can uh, do that times another 14. I'll give you a million quid. Uh, question number two for £200. Which of these is a sponge baked over fruit and inverted for serving? Upside down cake. Inside out dessert. Back to front gatto. Higgledy piddledy pudding. Upside down cake. Yep. I... Has anyone Upside you've ever heard of? It's the right answer, you've got 200 pounds. <laughs> Have a look, question number three, 300 pounds. Which of these is an object used to measure angles? Protocol, protractor, protein, protoplasm. <laughs> protractor. 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 It's very good, you two. 300 quid, no problem. <laughs> Question number four for 500, here it comes. Which of these words can mean both an attendant and a sheet of paper? Folio, leaf, page, ream. Page. Very good this unison you did. <laughs> uh, final answer? Yeah, final answer. That's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> have a look at question number five. Use a lifeline if you have to. Make sure you give me the right answer to this. You go home with at least 1000 You're on your way to that dream wedding. Question number five. Here it is. Complete the title of the Bruce Springsteen hit, Born in the Ghetto, the Hayfield, the USA, the Garden. The USA. USA. <laughs> it's the right answer, you've got £1,000. <laughs> Good. £1,000 guaranteed. <laughs> now, how are you feeling? A lot better? No. No, not really. Oh, fine. Sorry, <laughs> um, Well, you've got a 1,000 guarantee, which is a lot better than uh, the first big worry. Everybody, they're not going to get to that. You're in good shape. You're ten away from a million. You've got all three lifelines. 
Uh, you're three correct answers away from your big wedding dream of £8,000. Mm -hmm. Have a look at question number six for 2000 Here it comes. What's the name for an oil well from which the oil flows freely without a pump? Gusher. Gurgler. Guzzler. Gulper. Gusher. You sure? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Gusher. Final answer. You're very trusting. Yeah. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> We've got the ball. <laughs> Gusher. Final answer, Gusher. Yeah. Final answer. Yes. It's the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Question number seven for 4,000. You've still got 50 50, you've still got phone a friend, you've still got to ask the audience. Have a look. Question number seven is worth 4,000. What was the profession of Jimmy Carter before he became US president? Lawyer, railroad manager, cowboy, peanut farmer. Ask the audience. What are you thinking? Nothing. We don't know. Ah. Uh, Should we trust them? Ask, yeah. ask, ask the, the audience. audience. Do we trust them? Yeah. Let's see what they say before we decide whether we uh, trust them or not. OK, audience, let's get Dave and Victoria. Uh, up to £4,000. This is the question. What was the profession of Jimmy Carter before he became US president? A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, 21% say lawyer, 74%, it's quite high, 74% say he was a peanut farmer. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm very happy with that, because I was um, deliberating, sort of, between that a and a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. You so, weren't. You hadn't got a clue. Yeah. <laughs> we you tell me you hadn't got a clue. <laughs> You're going to play? Play, play yeah. D, D. A peanut, peanut farmer. farmer. Yeah. Is that unison again? It's good. <laughs> final answer. Yes, yes. final answer. It's the right answer, you got £4,000. <laughs> Looking quite pleased with life, actually, you got £4,000. You wanted desperately to get to £8,000. Uh, you got two lifelines to hopefully get you there. This is the question, you don't have to play this, you can obviously walk away with four. You would lose three if you gave me a wrong answer. Uh, give me a right answer, you double your money, you get £8,000. Have a look, question number eight of the possible 15. Which fictional detective constantly refers to the little grey cells? Miss Marple, Father Brown, Hercule Poirot, Lord Peter Whimsey. I have no Hercule idea. Poirot, I you... think, springs to mind. But we need the 8,000, so should we go? Well, how sure? 50. 50%. Yeah. You trusted him earlier, Victoria. I don't trust him now. Ah. <laughs> Say what you think, Victoria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to Take do? Take a 50-50. That's what it's there for. Yeah, OK, 50-50. Yeah. OK, computer, take away two wrong answers. Please leave David and Victoria the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Mmm, still there. Then so's Miss Marple. Um, you really want the sum of money. You want £8,000, yeah. but if you give me a wrong answer, you drop back to 1000 You can phone a friend. Who should we phone? Um, good question. Alan? Chris, Chris. Yeah? I think Chris more than Alan. Yeah. OK, we'll phone Chris. Who's Chris? He's a friend and he plays in our local quiz team. <laughs> right, tell him 30 seconds. Uh, two possible answers, one of those is worth £8,000. You don't have to take his answer. You can walk away with 4000 Hello? Chris? Yeah. Hi, yeah, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Hello. Hi, I've got David and Victoria. This is um, David Anderson and Victoria Best, yep. by the way. That David and Victoria on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. 
Uh, they're doing OK. They're on £4,000. Uh, Chris, they're stuck on one particular question. Now, they've used a 50-50, yep. so there are only two possible answers. One of these answers is worth £8,000. One of them would obviously cost them £3,000. Yep. OK. Next question here will be Victoria. She'll tell you the question and the two possible answers in 30 seconds. Yep. OK, lots of luck. Okay. Victoria, time starts now. Hi, Chris. Hi. Which fictional detective constantly refers to the little grey cells? Is it Miss Marple or Hercule Poirot? Hercule Poirot. You sure? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yep. Thank you. OK. Thank you. Bye. Bye. OK, well... You didn't yep. think he'd know, did you? No. <laughs> he still might not, of course. <laughs> he no. might be mad. We'll play. Yeah, He's we'll, very confident. We will play. We'll play C. Then C, Hercule Poirot. Yeah. Final answer. Yes. It's the right answer. He's just won you £8,000. <laughs> Victoria, and there was you doubting him as well. You were going, oh, don't bring him, maybe a waste of space. <laughs> <laughs> you've got £8,000, you've used up those two lifelines, but at least it's made you absolutely certain you've got £8,000 at the moment. Question number nine is for 16000 It's your call. Have a look at it. In which sport are pieces called stones aimed at a target called the house? Bull. Croquet. Curling. Skittles. It's C, curling. <laughs> Are you...? Yes, I'm 100%. Yep. OK, curling. Play. If you're wrong... I'm dead. <laughs> You're not even as well as dead. <laughs> I, uh, you look forward to being dead. It'll be a blunt knife. <laughs> you won. I'm 100%. Why are you so certain? I just am. <laughs> well, balls don't use stones. It's the not... only one on there is that uses stones is curling. And it's not. I know. It's not croquet. It's not croquet. It's, it's, not, it's not, skittles. not skittles. I know that. It's curling. Definitely. You've got to both give me your final answer. If he's wrong, sure. you've just lost seven thousand pounds. Promise. Yep. yep. Okay, we'll final play answer. curling. Final answer, Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. You had eight thousand pounds. You had the dream wedding. You said you came for. You just doubled it to sixteen thousand pounds. <laughs> oh, you're so great. 16,000. It's easier when you're sitting at home. Yeah. 